Hi, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Petra Hoffman. I am the founder of Hepatitis C Global Initiatives. And today I would like to give you a very warm hello from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada to Kyoto, Japan and wish to welcome you and tell you a little bit about Hepatitis C today. Um, I understand that you are health professionals in training or have just graduated and maybe looking at different fields and I want to tell you today how important it is that you consider learning more about Hepatitis C. Hepatitis C is as you know a bloodborne disease and it is a world pandemic. 1998 the World Health Organization put out a press release in May and in that press release they called it a world pandemic and it is one in 12 people have it globally and 500 million people die of hepatitis B and C every year. Um, it can no longer be swept under the carpet. It needs to be dealt with. It needs to be, people need to be educated. We need to raise awareness on this. Too many people are dying of this disease and unfortunately only, well, less than 10% of the world's population ends up getting treated. Um, the death rates of hepatitis C have now surpassed the death, death rates of HIV AIDS and that is really scary, you guys. It, 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 it needs to be screamed from the rooftops. We need to share this information. Another thing I really need to let you guys know is that 80% of most cancers are born from the hepatitis B and C virus. Um, as you know, hepatitis C um, nominally affects the liver, but it also inflames all of your other body organs. It lodges itself in your brain. And it is, the, as you know, probably the leading cause of liver disease in the world. 80% um, of all liver cancer is born from the virus. 50% of kidney cancer. 80% of non-Hodgins lymphoma. 80% of pancreatic cancer. 80% um, of most cancers are born from the hepatitis B and C virus. Diabetes. One third of type 2 diabetes is from the hepatitis B and C virus. Very important. There is a strain of the type 2 diabetes that cannot be treated because the virus blocks the treatment. Most people that have HIV are also co-infected with hepatitis C. Often we need to treat one before the other. It's really important that you guys look at this again. Um, I don't know what more I can tell you at this time. I only have a few minutes. But if you have any other questions, please get a hold of me on Facebook or you can go to globalinitiativescharity.com. There's a contact page. I'll answer any questions you have. And please, please have a look at this disease and scream it from the rooftops. I need you all to help me spread the word, to educate the world, and to create awareness of this pandemic disease. I hope you guys have a great day. And again, hello from Vancouver to BC to Kyoto, Japan. See you guys.